Welcome to Basketball Heads Live. I'm your host, Glenn Poole Harding. And tonight, it's part two of our interview with Spice, Spice Kilpatrick. That's right, the Brooklyn legend is back. And we're about to do it again. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? ready? Yes. 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 You have you just have stepped into, into, into the world, world of chaos. chaos. Where everybody, Where everybody goes, goes hard. hard. Buy your tickets because the game about to start. Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up, what up? What up? What happened to the music? Listen, bro. Listen, man. <laughs> okay, okay. I right, wait for most more people in the room. My guy, Jamel. Powell's in the building. Big Mail, baby, big Mail. <laughs> he got something nice for you, man. He got something nice for you, man. He got something nice for you, man. Listen, sorry, I was running a little late tonight. I was taking care of a few things. Uh, as you see, I've been all over New York City promoting for the show. But we're going to do this Yo, again. Yo, Jack, what up, baby? Joe yeah, Jack yeah, in yeah, the yeah. house. Give a shout out. Give a shout out to my boy, Andre Irvin. Yeah, yeah, hey, what up? Yeah. Mike Irvin, what up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My little son, little Irvin. We gonna have some fun tonight, Spice. Hey, I always have fun anyway. Yo, a lot of people told me they were saying, "What's up, man?" It's hard to try to look at you and be trying to look down and read it. <laughs> John asks you, "What up, baby? Big smooth in the house." <laughs> smooth, smooth coming like yo, yo, you going on? Yeah, I was running a little late. As you see, I'm sweating because I was running to the crib, had to meet my guy, make sure he was straight. So we back. So yesterday we touched on a few things, right? True that. We touched, true on, that. When you, we touched on when you grew up at, um, your childhood, first team you was on. You know, uh, Eric Marbury or Don was the. Nicest guy in the neighborhood at the time. 88 is your childhood friend from way Long back. Time. Way back. Right? You played with some of the great at Lincoln, Henry Hamilton. Uh, with Don. 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 Yeah. Don and we had, Sim. A kid, we had a kid on the team named T. Lowe. He was from, um, dang, Crown Heights. You know them, them, them tall projects like... Over there on what is that like Washington? Yeah, I, I met him. I met him maybe once or twice. I do know who you're talking about. I met he him out in the world and somebody introduced he, me he, to him. He used to wear a big afro. Yo, this yeah. kid used to fly too, yo. Yeah. What wow. he had a he had a broken arm that he never got fixed. So his arm was like always like that when he was right. working, he catch the ball. Yo, man, this dude stayed over the rim, yo. Wow, that's crazy. Stay. We also touched on you playing for the Flames back then. And the coach, who was the coach for the Flames that kind of taught you and had you training early? Well, early, late, late early. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to some of these other dudes, man, they was playing since elementary school, man. Right, right. I, did, I don't even think, like, Fourth, fifth grade, I, man, I ain't know nothing about no basketball then. Yo, know, John Askew said uh, Tilo had super hops. Yeah, he did, man. So, I want to go back, right? And I want to talk back, about that, that, that faithful senior year, right? Because if you are allowed to play, History is written a little different. 
Let's now, of course, it, would be... it, is, it is what it is, and we accept it. And we give props right. to those who accomplish their goals and what they want to <laughs> do in high school basketball. But <laughs> on our side, right, the way we yeah. look at it, if we had you running the point with Darren and Silk on the wing and Biggs and Kenny down low, it's a wrap. Yo, yo, I'm telling you, and then we had – we had John Matthews, we had West coming off the bench. Bernard we had Timo, Mitchell. Bernard Mitchell, of course. Sean, Sean Williams. Yo, man. It would have been crazy, yo. Yo, you know what? And then it's a kid that came up with me and Silk. Silk probably gonna say something about him too. This kid named Speedy. Okay. He's from Coney Island. His name is Cl Clifton Gorham. Speedy. He made the team when we were sophomores. And then he just walked away. I, I don't know why, but he wow. made the team. Like, he was good. Like, if we had him, he was like, he probably was a step above Darren Woodbury. Wow. So could you imagine what that would have been like? Crazy. Crazy. So let's, let's, let's go through this again because we didn't get a chance to capture it yesterday. Uh, what happened your senior year? Well, you know, I, I didn't get to play. Like, they they named me uneligible. What happened was I was in Joseph B. Cavallaro, and I got left back in the ninth grade. I got left back in the ninth grade, running around, doing stuff I shouldn't have been doing. But even then, I wasn't thinking about no basketball. You wasn't playing high school basketball, and it didn't happen in Lincoln. Like, but once I got there... That's when I knew that, yeah, I had to make this team. And I wanted to be starting because I was good enough to start. But he couldn't start me and Silk. Like the other dudes was there. It was Silk. It was a, a junior, Mike Waldman, um, Henry, Don, and the kid T. T. Lowe. So at that time, you know, but then when it was – our time, like my senior year, I didn't get to play. They named me uneligible. They said ninth grade, ninth grade, tenth, eleventh. You got you got to play your first four years. But the thing was, I wasn't in high school in the ninth grade. Which is that's what I'm saying. You when you got left back, you was in junior high school, so that right. shouldn't have counted against you. And you didn't play four years of high school basketball, right? I really, I really only got to play two. But in that, in them two years, Yo, I made a lot of noise. I'm telling you, you man, I it, know, it, I it know. Doesn't, it doesn't even seem like two years, Spice. From yeah. all the things that people know about you and how word of mouth was back then, we didn't have cell phones, we didn't have beepers back then. You know, right. when, when you were doing your thing, word of mouth. This kid from Coney Island, man, he will put it on you. Don't reach. Don't reach. Yeah. Right? So, Coach, again, Coach said the PSL did you a major disservice. He said they were totally wrong. They were totally wrong. And he yeah. felt like they had something out against Lincoln. It wasn't particularly you, but – the program, and I don't know yeah. what what was happening. It's like they never expected us to be as good as we was for like them years back then. So I guess you can still hear me. Yeah, you good. Now I can't hear you. Somebody just tried to call me, man. All right, so this is what you gotta do, Spice. You just gotta, what? you know how you take your screen, right? Yeah. Hit, the, hit the square button. And come back out. Don't close out. Don't close or the PSL. Whatever the uh the acronym is for the main page. And if you look down who won the state championships, it seemed like the organization had a lot to do with who was gonna win that year and what league was gonna win. Cause they'll go like upstate, the Catholic school, Catholic school, Catholic school, the PSL, the PSL, the Catholic school, Catholic school, Catholic school. Private, private, private. Watch. Just, just read it for yourself. Yeah, but it look. Like, 
they were like, they were just saying, this league is going to win this year. All right, this league is going to win this year. Like, and that's it. The plan that situation, out. that situation, though, like, Bobby, we, we had, like, we had some people behind us with that. We took it to court and everything. Yeah, so, politics as well. Yeah, politics. So he, like, I was thinking we was going to win. He was thinking we was going to win. And then, you know, by the time that I really lost, by the time we really lost the case, it was really too late for me to play anywhere else because he said, he said, yo, I'm, I'm really sorry. Had I known this would have happened, I'd have sent you to Oak Hill. But, you know, things happen, so. And and always looked at you uh, because, as a model, because you and I didn't get the chance to play our senior year at Lincoln. Right? Mine was a different circumstance. I kind of aged out for getting left back uh, and starting school a little late. But that doesn't make a difference. What I can say is, Coach did everything he could to yeah, make sure I that. that I got to play somewhere. Like, yo, yeah, yeah, field. that's what he do. That's what he yeah. do, though. Yes, he ain't yeah. gotta know you. He don't have to know you to help you. He he help he helps a lot of people. People that wasn't even in Lincoln, he helped go to college. Mm. He just want to see kids get in college. Like even like right now, he helps me and Silk when we trying to help people. Yeah, I remember some years ago, uh, I was in Coney Island, and I was talking to Jocko, and Jock had this thing where he felt like Bobby Hostie wasn't sending his kids to college. And I told him, I was like, I can't, I can speak for what he did for me and for, for some of the guys who played for me. The only, the only one thing, person I question who played with us is Bernard Mitchell. That's the only person that I felt like I don't know what happened. I just felt like he got a raw deal. He was too uh, talented not to be somewhere. Yeah. But you, then, you know, I mean, I'm not saying him, but sometimes, man, kids just don't want to go to school, man. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I'm not saying him because Bernard, I'm telling you, back then, Bernard should have played in the Big East or something. He was that good. Yes, he could have. Trust me, he could have played on the big stage. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, Joe, Joe Jackson said when he was playing, you know, he just wanted to play with the best and fit in. But he knew he needed some help, right? Yeah, he definitely so, did. He definitely did. So when, when, when Joe came, he just he felt like now we can battle, right? Because, you know, Joe was, Joe was like Joe Johnson, Right? I remember Joe. It seemed like Joe was net. running the point. Joe, it seemed like Joe was running the point to me. <laughs> Joe was bringing the ball up. I don't know if the other players were scared or what, but Joe tried to put him on his back and do what he do. <laughs> so how long? How long? How long did you like felt discouraged after that happened? Yo, man, it was like that whole year, man. Like, like you brought that to my attention, like. You know, I was, man, I was really probably ready to give up on school. Like, I forgot that part because it's like that, like, it was so bad that I guess I just try to throw everything behind me. Because, I that, like, the way I was loving basketball then, like, I missed a lot of the games at Lincoln. I didn't even come. I came to, I think, maybe a handful. The way games, I ain't even go to them. Yo, that, I'm telling you, man, that's a that's that's a feeling that hurts so bad, man. Like, man, only wow. the strong survive, though, yo. Yeah, man, and you know, I just keep I just keep thinking about. Damn, you only played two years of high school basketball. You've done what most guys couldn't do in four years. <laughs> ah, oh, man, facts. Facts. So salute to you, man. Salute to you. Right? Sometimes yeah, it seems like sometimes it seems like life gives a, a raw deal, but then something else is, you know, graded down the line. Yeah. Because even with all that happening to you, you still got a chance to play college basketball. Right. Right? Right. So 
with, with, with all those colleges backing away from you and not wanting to touch you, whatever. Uh, let's talk about when you and Kenny Parker, Kenny Parker went up to uh, St. Peter's. And I didn't know y'all went as a, y'all went together. Did y'all right. go as a package deal? But like, I don't even know. It could have been. But, you know, we both ended up there. So, and, and then it was like, Kenny, Kenny was planning on going there. And, you know, I was, I'm thinking still some of the coaches that wanted me from the junior year, that they wanted me the senior year, but they really didn't. They ain't seen me play the whole year, so they didn't know what I was like no more. But this guy, he took a chance. He took a chance. Who, like, who, who was the coach at, at St. Peter's at the time? Duquette or something like that, maybe? Okay, okay, okay. Right, right. Because, you know, like, had, like, when I was a junior, what's the name was talking to me, too? Um, your assistant coach, Tiny. He wanted to get me in big. How many lives he told you? I ain't let him get a, I ain't let him get a lot of time to tell me a lot of <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. So, how did you end, end up leaving St. Peter's? Well, <laughs> it was like, like I'll tell you, my mother raised five kids, and I'm the youngest. Right. So, you know, and back then, times was hard. So she had she had got some money together. She bought me she bought me a bed. We brought the bed out there to Jersey. We were staying uh -huh. in an apartment right across the street from the school. Me and KP, we was roomed together. Right. So then, you know, the, the moms left food and stuff. So it, it, then it was September, October, November, <laughs> then December. It was like right before we was getting ready to go on break or something. Right. And I told KP, I was like, yo, okay. I said, yo, I'm getting ready to go over here and ask the coach, could he get us some groceries or something? So KP was like, oh, you go ahead, you go ahead, I'll stay here. You know, KP was kind of a little scary. So I said, all right, I'm going. So I went over there. I went. I went to his office. He was like, hey, Kilpatrick, how you doing? I was like, I'm good, coach. I said, I need to talk to you. He's like, oh, come on, talk, talk. What's going on? I said, coach, me and Kenny ain't got no food over there. You think you can help us out with a little groceries? He was like, oh, I really don't want to do that. The NCAA might come down on us. I'm like, coach, we talking about groceries. Who's going to tell? You going to tell? Because I know I'm not going to tell. So he was like, no, nah, I really want to do that. I was like, okay, it's cool. So I went back. I left. I went back to the department. I packed my stuff that night and I left. So when, when he once he found out I left, he started calling Bobby. He started calling my mother. Oh, Mr. Kilpatrick, we're going to do everything we can for him. So I was like, Mommy, I'm not going back to you. So then Bobby was like, uh, Spire, so, so you don't want to go back? I mean, it's up to you. I said, nope, I'm not going back, Coach. He's tell, he telling me he's going to do this, he's going to do that. I asked him for a little groceries, and he act like that. I was like, I said, no, nah, I'm not going back to you. So he was like, okay, I'm going to check some stuff out for you and see what I can find. And then he came and he told me it was a, it was a, like, a lot of NAIA schools. You know, those are the black schools that wanted me to, you know, to come to their school. So I told him, I was like, well, who's, who's calling? It was like, Morgan State, Maryland Eastern Shore, Howard, uh, and then some schools down a little further down south. So I was told, I told him I'll think about it. Then I he, he talked to Mark Ryan at Brooklyn College. And Mark Ryan said, Oh, I want him, Bobby. I want him. And Bobby used to coach under Mark Reiner. So yeah. that's one of his friends. That's his protege. So you know he's gonna try to help him get me. So he was like, oh, Spires, Brooklyn College. I said, is they Division One?" He was like, yeah, they independent. He said, they got some good games. I said, coach, let me see they get their schedule. So he got the schedule. <laughs> the schedule 
was St. John's with Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson, Marco Baldy, Willie Glass, Shelton Jones. Mm. They had they had Syracuse with Pearl. I just missed that game. Like I had to sit out. So when I came back, when I came in January, they was just coming back from that trip. I was wow. sick. You know I wanted that. You know I wanted that. They might would have killed us, but we was going to be on that TV. Work. And, and, you wanted that work. That's right. Huh? So you wanted that work. Yeah. And, and then even though we had that, they would have beat us, but I know he'd have been worried about the work I was going to put in. So then we had, wow. on that on that list, we had Loyola Marymount with Bo Kimball and Hank Gathers. We had we had Nebraska with Eric Johnson. We had uh I said Notre Dame with Dave Rivers and Gary Voicey. Yeah, yeah. Notre Dame, which who who listen, who I, I did some research, they smacked y'all, but David Rivers only had eleven points. Did you have something to do with okay. that? Of course, man. I did play defense. And then we, yo, we even played against Michigan State. We played against Michigan State. I don't remember who was there, but we got to play against Michigan State at Michigan State. Like, and 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 what it was, it was like these. We was independent, so these teams pay our school for us to come and play them in front of their alumni. They knew they was gonna like kick our butts. They knew that. So they Yo, kicked hold, on, buddy. hold on. You know that too? Yeah, I know that. Yo, a lot of people don't know that. That these big schools pay the smaller schools for a win. If they lose, they're upset. And that's the reason why the term upset exists. Upsets don't exist in pro sports. And you know what? The crazy thing, yo. I used to go to all these games and I was thinking that I was going to be able to pull it off. But I like they wasn't ready for that, yo. They wasn't ready for that. I kind of wish that I would have went to a bigger school where we could have had a chance to win some of them games. But like I said, it is what it is. I played two years. Then the third year came around. And I gotta just put it like, you know, it's 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 always people that want to push you. They want you to go. They want you to go here. They want you to go there. They want you to do good. And then it's some people that just don't care. And I end up hanging out with somebody that you know they probably didn't really care because the coach, the coach of Brooklyn College, he told me with the like when I first got there, he said I want you to get twenty and eight every game. He said, if you don't go to the NBA, he said, if you don't go to the NBA, he said, I promise you, we'll get you overseas somewhere playing some ball so you can make some money. And then, no, like, I, I would have loved my coach to tell me that. That's and unbelievable. Then from, like, to continue what I was saying, like, about, you know, you got people that push you and then you got people that just don't care. You know, I was hanging out with the wrong crowd, and I got in a little trouble. And the coach, he, he didn't even really want me to leave. He just said, I need you to sit out for a little while until, you know, things cool down or whatever. So, and then by that time, man, I was shot with the sitting out. So I just, I left, man. Went and started working and you know, being in the streets, crazy stuff, man. I mean, wow. nothing real serious hurt nobody, nothing like that. Right, but, right. You know. With, with, with those situations, uh, St. Peter's and Brooklyn College, which one you think you regret the most? That one. When hanging out with them people from the street, had I just stayed my butt in college and just played? Man, I could I would have got to go do the thing I love, play basketball and get money for it. Like like and like you can't even get mad if you go somewhere and you play basketball, which I'm not saying people do, but if if you make $25,000 
for the season. Yo, that's something you love to do and you're getting paid to do it. So, you know, you no know, things happen. So, you know. Life lessons, man. So you know what I do, the best thing I could do, I got a son that's 15. He play basketball. He loved the game. When I tell you, like they say, Pooh, they said I couldn't shoot. When mm -hmm. I tell you, Pooh, this boy could shoot, he could shoot, yo. He could shoot that rock. He maybe he got it from he got it from his mother's side. <laughs> she can't shoot, but all her brothers can shoot. Right, right, right. I mean, you wow. you know that. You know who you know who my brothers are, man. Eric, Don, Juju, Stefan, Zachy. Those are my brothers, my brother-in-laws. Those are my brothers. But, you right. know, like, he got that talent. He got that shooting talent. So if I could put my handle with that, before he, like, while he's in high school, get ready to go to college, I, like, I got a little time. He still got three years. Yeah. If I could put that in him, yo, it's going to be crazy. Wow. I could just imagine. Spice with a jump shot. And then all shot. I could do is show him what I did. Right. All I could do is show him what I did. Like, like these workouts that these kids be doing with these people charging $50, $40 an hour, we don't do none of that, man. You dribble that ball. You dribble it. Dribble it up and down the driveway like Dedrick had Kyrie doing. Look at this That's dude right. handle, man. That's crazy. Like, yeah, his first man. two years in the league, I was like, is this kid human? <laughs> is this kid human, yo? Like, the shots he was making and yeah. taking? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, salute to Charles Jones. Um, Listen, I remember he put up a post saying, you guys that are training kids. The first time I see y'all teaching these kids a behind the back fancy move, I'm dating y'all. And, you know, I think that's so real. I think you just start with the basics, right? Because a lot of no. kids see the finished product. They see what you were, right? They see what Charles was, and they see all those moves, and they want to do it like this. They want to do it now. They don't want to no, put it in the front of the You got to put that work in, man. And then, like, 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 some people think it's just trying to be cute to be dribbling the ball and go through your legs, but that stops a guy from reaching, trying to steal the ball. He's gonna hit your knee, and then after that reach, if you get it through your legs, he's gonna be back there somewhere. So that that's like something basic. But then, do we like, have big I hands like you as well? Huh? Sorry about that. What you said? Sorry about that. What you said? What you say? I said, do your son have big hands I like you as well? You. you said. Do nah. your son? Okay. Nah, he ain't got big hands, but do you, man, you don't need big hands to handle that ball. Really? Oh, nah, but I tell just him a lot. You advantage. I tell him to keep the ball low. Like, you could dribble low. Like, that's the part that Booger mastered. He used to run the whole court with the ball four inches off the floor. How you going to take that? You can't right. take that. You cannot take that. And then, you know, it's this, uh, <laughs> I don't know if nobody ever told you, but, man, I got a mean, I had a mean head fake, yo. Yo, yo I, I put, in the first post, I put, like, the Hezzy. <laughs> that that Hezzy was the killer. Like, I'm telling you, just for me, just for me, I told you. I think yeah, you know, I'm the said, move. It, it could have came from somebody. The first person I seen do that and master it was you, 1983. And then it's just and, and, and the crazy part, they said I couldn't shoot. So why is you jumping when I'm doing a head fake if I can't shoot? <laughs> So look, little Christian said, little Christian said to me, Uncle Spice, Uncle Spice, you invented, you invented the Hezzy? I said, well, Christian, that's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, man. Yeah. He asked me that the other day. So somebody told him that. I don't know who told him. He's reading, and you, you know, I told you, I only met him for a couple of minutes, but from what I got from him, that he's a bright young man, and he's a student of the game. That's what I got from him. No. No, I want I I need you to see him play, yo. You're gonna see his his IQ is is way above his age, man. The way he see wow. the court, the way he talk about the game, his IQ is ridiculous. But it's it's like Juju's was, so right. it ain't like you can really take nothing from him. The kid, he right. really knows the game. He know the game. That's crazy. I got nothing but love for you, my brother, Joe Jackson. <laughs> uh, you ever played against me? That's Joe Jackson. Joe, that's Joe my Jackson. dude, Joe. Yeah, man. yeah. He, 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 he. That's I'm not saying, dude, I'm, Joe, I'm not repeating man. a lot of shit that he said the other day, but he, you know, he, he, he having a lot of fun. Um, like, look, you, but Joe, right? Uh, Joe was more like, Cause like I mean, Joe was cool with eight. Joe was one of the dudes. Like I'm saying, like them other dudes that I used to play against. Like I wanted them. I was yeah. Let me like I wasn't like that with Joe. Joe Joe was a nice guy, man. And that's all he needed was some help, man. He should have came over to Lincoln. That's what you should have did, Joe. You should have came over to Lincoln. You don't have Joe guys Jay, dancing you in the video. Lincoln, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Spice, have you ever played against Pete Edwards? Huh? Have you ever played against Pete Edwards? Secret weapon? Oh, man. I played against him in Soul in the Hole. Yo, to this day, 88, give it to me all day. He said, yo. Yo, you let Pete Edwards catch you with your own move. He hesitated on you on the baseline, and he took you. I said, hey, I play defense, man. That happens. It's going to, yo, that dude, yo, that, you know what they used to call him? Secret weapon. You know what they used to call Pete Edwards? Secret weapon. Secret weapon. Yes, yes. They yes. used to call him secret weapon. And look, in the backcourt, they had him. Phil Foreman was on 18. And. This other dude that Florida. passed away. Um, yeah. Yes. Kirk Sumner. Kirk, Kirk Sumner. Sumner. Let me tell you something. But look. But look. I was, I was, and actually, that didn't play. I was on the Flames. So Pearl was on my team. It was me, Pearl, this dude named White Mike, his brother Steve Niles. Yo, son, we had a team, yo. Yo, that place, when we played them, I don't know what team they was on, but when we played them, yo, that whole, the whole was incredible, yo. When we played them and when we played N.A. Rock. N.A. Rock is with the Scurry Brothers. Right, right, right. Yeah. Was you, rock, was you rocking and rolling out there, Shout Spike? out to my boy Paul. Huh? Say, so was you rocking and rolling out there? Yo, when I played in Soul and Hole, yo, I was still in high school. So I'm playing with all these semi-pro dudes, and I was giving it to him. Mm. Nice, nice. So like now... That's my... where, really, really, back then, that's where you got your name from, Soul in the Hole. You played in Soul yeah. in the Hole and you did work? What? Yes. Oh, yeah. You made a name at Soul in the Hole, yo. Right. I, I, I told and You know what? Everyone... I don't even think... I can't hear yeah. you, man. Now, go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to stop talking. Oh, go I ahead. heard you then. But, like, soul in the hole, and then, you know, back in my time, I don't even think nobody else from Coney Island even came and played in there. I think, like, after me, I think D Flight came and played over there. And maybe Norm, and who else? I don't know. Maybe 530. I don't know. But I know you guys came to Brevoort. I know you guys came to Brevoort. We used to always come near. We always came near. 
Because that was Sonny Lewis tournament. So I Sonny know. Lewis, yo, come on. Yo, tell us, let's, let's talk about that night, the championship night. Yo, it was up. It had to be like easy, a thousand people flooded. It had to be way more than that. It was so crazy packed in Brevoort at that time when you guys played. I think it was summer 1983, 84. And when we came, it was always like that. I think those it drew the biggest crowds when we came because we had we had big bigs, we had silk, we had me. I think I think Darren might have played. Like yeah, we had some names, had, and then you know, it's like, it's like sometimes them dudes we played them. Few of the dudes was too old to be playing, but that we didn't care about that. Yeah, we always going to run in the ringers, but. You know, our game was so up to par that, you know, that didn't that didn't bother us. Right. Yeah, I was I was happy and 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 sad at the same time because I knew I should have been in the team. So after that, uh I made it my ambition to bust everybody on that team ass. <laughs> it was just like I will show y'all that I'm better than everybody. To, you used to be out there? Yes, out it was there my freshman year. It was my it was my freshman year. It was my freshman year at Lincoln. <laughs> my man, and little Vaughn, I, little Vaughn, I, little I, little I, little Vaughn. I remember Vaughn. There was this kid I, named Ish. He was yeah, nice. Ish uh, yeah, Ish was nice. Yes, yeah, thank uh, you. Had horse. Horse uh, was on that thing. This tall, light-skinned kid. Allah, I think. Allah. Allah was on that team. Yeah. Dirk Pearson was Allah, on that team. Those are all hey, the guys who... All the guys who grew up in Brevo at that time, and I was the new guy, so of course I had to wait my turn. And well, look, when it was I a did, time. Everybody, it was a time it. we was a little younger. We was a little younger. I think me and Silk might have been sophomores, and we came to Brevo. But what happened was a kid in Brevo, he was on a football team, and he was going to Lincoln, KK. and he got jumped. Yo, listen, that's the story. Yeah, so, Hello? you know. Tell out. So then, huh? Hold up, Mice. Hold up. I got to interject. That's, he's the reason why I went to Lincoln. What's the kid name you say? K oh, K yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. I looked him. That was my running back. I was a quarterback. Hold on, Spice. Let me show you something. Ricky, baby, what up? Ricky Coon, my man. That's a trophy? <laughs> Yo, so you came to Lincoln to play football? Yeah, yeah. We good? Come back, man. Yeah, like I was saying, I, I played football with KK, right? Right. I didn't know that. Yes, he was my quarterback. I mean, I was his quarterback. What happened was, after that beef, he transferred to John Jay. And since I was a year behind him, I already was going to Lincoln. I'm not going to change now. My mom wasn't having that. So I get to Lincoln. KK not there. I'm actually playing uh, JV football. Right? Right. I went out for the team. Remember DJ? From Kingsboro. DJ. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. DJ and Bobby and a couple other guys who went to Lincoln that was from this side, I took the train with them. So they was going out for the team. I'm like, we're not going to make the team. They're number one in the state. And we're freshmen. They're like, ah, oh, come on, let's just go. So I went out for the team with them. They got cut and I made it. What, the football team? The basketball team. KK went out for the basketball team? Spice, you 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 lost. Listen, I'm gonna go back. KK transferred to John Jay. You hear me? Right. I was at Lincoln, a freshman. Right. I right. went there to play football. Right. I was playing JV football. I went out for the varsity team because of the dudes who I rode the train with, who was a little bit better than me. Okay. They got cut. I made it. 
And I was only and I was only five eight. Remember, Spice, I wasn't this tall as a freshman. Uh, <laughs> I grew. Okay. So oh, okay. how all okay. it, how all this happened, how did all this happened for me, I just, you know, thank the most high and and once I got it, I just held on to it and I never let it go. And listen, Coach Steinberg and Bobby Austin had beef for Bobby picking me. You what? know that? No. Nah. Yes. When Bobby, uh, when Coach Austin was nominated to, uh, selected to be in the New York Hall of Fame, um, or the Brooklyn Hall of Fame. Oh, I remember that. We went, right? So we're talking, and Steinberg goes, hey, Glenn, you know, I was mad at Bobby that he picked you. I said, what do you mean? He was like, yes, we had an argument because I thought you shouldn't be on the team. And Coach looked at him and go, yeah, but you were wrong. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was Dave, it was Josie, it was myself. Coach only took three freshmen that year. I remember that. You, Dave Alabama, you and Josie. That's it. Dave had to connect because he went to Coach Junior High School. Josie was the best ninth grader in Lincoln, period, at that time. And Josie used to play defense, and he was all over the place. That's what they liked it about him. Facts. And then little old me from Cross Town, who came in to play football. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Who's that hater right there that said, all that means is IG tired of this, this BS Spice talking about? Who is that? I told you. I told you that's Joe. Joe been having fun the whole fucking night. I told you. All right, Joe. Okay, you lucky you went already, you. Joe. You lucky you <laughs> went already, Joe. <laughs> Yo, what, how did it feel when you saw yourself in the paper for the first time? Yo, man, it, then yo, that's that's another that's another feeling too, cause that that happened when I was a sophomore. I, like I come in as a sophomore and I'm in the paper for double figures, a certain amount of assists, and and then we already got Don and Henry. They in there every game, so yo, man, that that's a good feeling to have, man, when you're in the paper. But like back then, yes, the only thing yes. we knew people being in paper for was. Robbing and stealing, shooting. <laughs> we in the paper for basketball. Like, and you know what? Like, I was, I was, I used to, I used to save a lot of my clippings. Then, you know, you get to a junior and a senior, and it's like they disappear. I don't even know where they at now. Like, yeah. I, 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 like somebody told me Bobby got a lot of the clippings, but yeah. you know, you know, maybe I. Get him to take some pictures and show my son. Let him read them. Maybe he'll want to get his name in the paper or something. Yeah, he's sending me some stuff. I'll make sure I get it to you. I'm already on it. Coach is actually looking for some stuff right now as we speak. You know a good person that would be to have up here, but he's he's not caught up with the times, yo. Tom Kachowski. That, that, that'll be a good look, yo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I would love to try to talk to him before he gets out of here because you know he retired. Did he? When? Yeah, he retired. Yeah. So we we might not see him no more because it ain't no basketball yeah. really. It ain't gonna be no basketball this year, and then next right. year he might be in Florida on the beach or something. Facts, facts. So, um. Let me see what, what we can cover. Okay, I want to go back over your top five guards in New York City history. <laughs> yeah. Yo, man, it's hard to do five, man. It's hard. I mean. So name them. Name, name the ones you think are, are, are on your list. All time? Yeah. Ah, Pearl. There you go. Rod. Silk. Yo, man, that that's really hard, man. That's hard. Like, if you ask me this every night, a few names might get changed, man. 
That's what we asked you tonight. You got two more. Ah, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Dedrick, Kyrie Pops, Mad Smooth, yo. When we was in five star. Let me give you the last one. Uh uh. Dang. Pearl. Pearl. Rod. Silk. Dedrick. Somebody said Boo and John John. I got to go with John. I got to go with John. John, yo, let me tell you. When I went to Five Star, yo, it had to be the best guards in the history of Five Star, yo. Let me tell wow. you something. Look, it was me, Silk, Rod, Dedrick. Uh, it was this kid named Kevin Walls. He was from Camden. Scored 72 points in a game. Woo! James Majors. Uh, Derek Chivas. He thought he was a guard out there. He wasn't no guard, but Melvin Kennedy, Gary Voicey, John John. What's the name was there? He was young. Remember uh, Ramil Robinson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there, but he was like a he was a fresh, he was a Sophomore, sophomore or freshman. Right. And I had a cousin from Connecticut named Ron Ron Moy. Like they was the two best freshmen that was out there. And then, yo, they had this kid named Mike Brown. He was supposed to go to Syracuse. He was McDonald All American. We had it was this kid named Willie Lancaster. Yo, the boy shoot like silk, yo. If you wasn't next to him when he caught the ball, count it. It was two <laughs> point, count it. And he was shooting like from three point range. I don't remember where he was from. Yo, man, it, yo, it was so many guards at that camp, yo. Like, 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 had Steph came to that camp, that would have been a test for him right there, yo. That would have been a good test for him. Cause like, like all us, like we was in New York, like Tyrone Joy, uh, uh, what's the name? Tyrone Joy, Rod, Dedrick, they was in the Bronx. Me and Silk was in Brooklyn. You had Pearl, Pearl and Elma in Brooklyn. You had Ed Davender, Jero in Brooklyn. You had Joe in Brooklyn. Like, it was so many guards. But when you look at Steph, it was basically just Steph. And then you had Felipe Lopez. So it was it was less at his time, but it, man, and then the only thing really came out was Rod and Pearl. And it was some um, guards back then, yo. Dave Ribblers, I forgot about him. Facts. I think I think Raw, I think Steph and how he was built and his athleticism and his high IQ would have done well with you guys. I, 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 he, I believe he that. Was cut, he was cut from that fabric. He watched you guys. He he studied, right? And the combination of his athleticism and his high IQ would have helped made him fit right in with you guys. Yeah, I, I believe that because yo. That kid, man. You ever like, played against uh, Disco from Sheep, Sheep Shed Bay? Disco who? From Sheep Shed Bay. Mm, I ain't even never heard of him. Said Disco. Played against Disco from Sheep Shed Bay. Okay. What about Billy Donovan? I, I didn't play against him, but Silk played against him. You know, I did play against um the the uh the guy that just he just passed away, uh Cliff Robinson. At UConn, we played them too. And when 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 we went there to play him, he was garbage at that time. He was a, he might have been like a freshman or a sophomore. He was garbage. But when he right. left UConn, right. he was able to dribble and everything. He couldn't dribble. Six so, ten, you know, right? 
You know who else? I played, it was on that list. North Carolina State. Shacklefoot was there. Shacklefoot wow, and, and yeah, another big, big, big man. Shacklefoot, yeah. Big Shacklefoot and and and, and uh, Ma Ma Washburn or Mashburn. Yeah, Chris Chris Washburn. He was there. Uh, I think uh, it was either Del Negro or Del Negro or 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 Gugliata. It was one of them. Right. One of them was on that North Carolina State team. Who got MVP of the camp? Yo, I can't remember that. But I, I can tell you one thing. Dedrick was down one end. I was down one end. He beat everybody on his end one-on-one. -on -one. I beat everybody on my end one-on-one. -on -one. And then me and him played. Who and won? I got him. I got him. You know what he told me? He said, you was Where'd cheating. You again? He said, you was cheating. I said, Dedrick, how was I cheating? He said, because you kept doing that head fake. <laughs> <laughs> the king of the hezzy move. That's right. Yeah. Um, My guy, Mac uh, Crossland, said Ronnie Vargas from Chief Jet Bay. If that uh, name ring a bell. No. Nah. Ring a bell. Good try. Good what, try. What year did he play? Because, like, when we play, I don't even think Sheepshed Bay was in our division. Because, like, that division we was in? Man. Was, Sheepshed Bay was in it when we played. It was in our division. Oh, they, I, they wasn't in it all day when we, we played. Had to smack, we used to smack them all the time. That's why they didn't count. We didn't. We used to smack them all the time. Guaranteed win. That was like a guaranteed win all the time. For sure. Well, guaranteed wins for us was was them, Madison, Lafayette. Brady. Oh, man. It was great. Brady was, they was enough at that time, you know. Brady, Brady didn't start beating us until after I left. Yeah, great Grady, Grady, Grady was all right, but they, they couldn't handle they couldn't handle us. Right. Now when Fresh so, got there, it was a different story. <laughs> oh yeah, Fresh changed the whole perspective. Fresh and that other little kid from Coney Island. He used to play for Sacramento. Who's that, Hector? Nah. No, James Hector's the big guy. He's like 6'1", 6'2". Oh, six, two. Uh, Doobie, Quincy Doobie. Yeah. Him and Norm Doobie. Richardson as well. Yeah. Doobie used to now, put it up, baby. Yeah. Now, I know you remember the James Major question, right? What? Okay. When James Major's played at Seton Hall... He said they was getting five dollar mill money on the road. Yo, all I can say about that, James, you should have called me, baby. I could have fed you. You was my man, yo. <laughs> boy, 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 was they taking care of me at Brooklyn College? <laughs> yo, I said, I said, what the hell, y'all, Big East? How we in the Northeast Conference are getting way more than y'all? I just yo, never, I never got that. Ah uh, man, that coach probably was keeping the money, man. Yeah, and that's then what he, I was, said. he was the giving them was enough. Somewhere. He was giving them enough for a happy meal. That's what he said. <laughs> they had to call it a happy meal five. They had to call it a Big Mac five. That was it. <laughs> Word. Uh oh uh, man. All right. Who's in the all Lincoln team? I told you. I, I, I was just telling my wife about that. Uh, 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 I'm I'm sorry, everybody else. It's a lot of good. It's a lot of good ones. But what I gotta take, I gotta take me, Silk, Steph, Dawn, and Eric. That that's my five right there. I was talking to Silk. I said, "Yo, Silk, man, if we play any Lincoln team and all us was in my prime, could anybody beat us?" He's like, "Nah, nah. That wow. that's too much scoring power right there." Yeah, yeah, Eric, yeah, Eric. Shot from two feet in front of half court like Steph do. Don shoot from out there. Silk shoot from out there. All they got to do is stand out there and give me the ball. If they don't double me, I'm going to score layups because nobody can not stay in front of me. If somebody come to double, whap. Silk, left hand, bang, hit him in the head. Don right hand, Steph right hand. Yo, man. 
that that man, that's a dream right there to play with a team like that, man. Well, listen, man. Lincoln won 13 city championships, five state championships, and sent seven guys to the NBA. Right? One coming straight out of high school. Does it make you feel good to know you laid down that foundation? Yeah, man. You got to feel good about that. I mean, even though, you know what I'm saying, I ain't get to play my senior year, I'm glad I was playing when we became a powerhouse and we left it for them dudes to keep it going. Like They could have came in and we could have not had good players like them and they could have been like, sorry, Dow Flowers, Madison. They could have been like Midwood. Yo, true, true. Yo, let me tell you, the the fact that we won it in 86, we are the remnants from y'all. It wasn't like y'all left and then we left and then years later, then they won. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Us winning it, we was the remnants from y'all. We were like the, the ashes from you guys, right? We were like the phoenix that rose. And you and, know what? And, because y'all gave us that trip. I heard Ray say something when you was talking to him. He said it was like me and Silk played as one. Yo, I I promise you, yo, that's that's how it felt we played. Like it was just like putting on your left hand glove and your right hand glove. It 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 was just right, yo. It was just right. And we ain't even get like this the our sophomore, our junior year. He missed a whole lot of the season. He came back at, at the end because he got shot in the arm. Yo, yo, you, see how, you see how all this shit crazy? It's crazy. He, he, gets, he, gets, he gets shot. So y'all are going to play together. You carry the team. Now he comes back and then the PSL fucks you over. Yeah. Not only that Ray Haskins said you guys were like twins, he said in his words that you guys are the best backcourt in New York City history. And he had mm -hmm. Beetle, and he had Cosell Brown, Ed Davida, Gerald Green, Andre if Irvin, they, if, they don't, all. if they don't play together, you 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 you're not gonna have that. Like you not what's the name used to tell me that until I seen him at a basketball tournament last year in New Jersey. You know how Tom Kachowski like to shake your hand, right? Right. He was shaking my hand. He said, Spies, Spice Kilpatrick and Carlton Silk Owens. Still shaking my hand. Yeah, yeah. He said, the best backcourt to ever come out of New York City. So that coming from him, yo, man, that, that's yo, that means a that's, whole lot, yo. That's two. That means that's a whole two. lot. Because this dude been doing Street and Smith, Picking people for McDonald's All American, all that since I admit I don't even know how long. Since Kareem was in high school. Wow. Wow. That's so how long he, he was doing it. So he's seen the players. Let me tell you, you I know about see the thing about you guys that helped us, you guys just put us on the game. Before we knew who Tom Kachowski was, y'all let us know who he was. Y'all let us know he was going to shake our hand and make sure you stay firm and you make eye contact with this man. Y'all yeah, yeah. told us about Street and Smith. Y'all told us about all of these dudes and all of these things that was going on in high school basketball to educate us. Because without that, we wouldn't know. We wouldn't know. I'm just keeping it 100. Tell me something about Coach Austin. Yo, he was really like he was like a coach, a father, a friend. Like I, I mean, everybody don't feel that way about him, but that's me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody feel the way they feel. Like, but I could call a couple of more guys that I know feel the way about him that I do. Me, you, Silk, uh, uh, he still speaks to Sean every day. I know he, not every day, but every, every once in a while, he always speaks to Sean. 
I know he loved the Marbury family. They love him. Yep. Like he, he did like he went through the whole family. Just about. Yep. I think he might. He might. I'm not sure. He might have been assistant coach with Eric, but on down, Don, Juju, Stefan. He even got Zachy because I think Zachy played his freshman year with Stefan or something. It was sophomore yep. freshman year. They played together. So and and then like five thirty, I know he's one of the guys coach still keep in touch with. Yeah, he met with coach the other day. He had lunch with coach the other day. Oh, five? Yeah. Oh, he back? Coach is back? He back in the city. I'm gonna meet with him this week. Oh yeah, I might have to catch up with him too, man. Yo, I'm sure. telling you, man. That's that's a that man is a good man, man. That's a great man. Yeah. I love him. I love him. How proud are you of Tiny and all his success? I'm real proud of Tiny because I know for a fact, like, when I was coming up, Tiny used to watch me. So, you know, just for him watching me and, you know, he may have picked up a move or two from me. But I'm very proud of Tiny, man. That's dope. Very proud of him, yo. Yes. Like, what he got? What he got, like, six championships? No, I, I, I think... He has 11 championships in and, and four states. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And yeah. he got yeah. one. He got one himself, right? Yeah, he won the first one with us in 86. He was our point guard. Yeah, man. You you like if you don't like that about him, you a hater, man. This dude, like, he got championship. Yeah, you don't really excuse me. You don't. You don't have to like him, but you got to respect what he did. That's right. And he did That's it right. with players from Coney Island, where we from. We all from. So, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Now, he did, I'm so proud he of him. did a good job. He, he did a good he, job. He, he, makes us, he makes us all proud, you know, to say we come from Lincoln. Even, you know, I, I could go from him and then talk about you guys, right? Because... It, it, it means that much. Definitely. So, your perception of New York City basketball today? It's, it ain't what it used to be, man. Like, you could go through, like, before this pandemic, you could walk from, from the train station through Coney Island, and we, we got about 10 basketball courts. You don't see kids on the courts like we used to be, man. Right. We used to be on the court from day to night. That's how we yeah. got better. We ain't had nobody training us. We was out there on the court playing basketball against each other. Then we leave, we leave O'Dwyer, we go to 288. Leave 288, go to 23rd. Like, and man. And then, like, a couple of years ago, the older guys, because I went out there with, once with them in Kaiser Park, they come out on Saturday or Sunday morning, like 9 o'clock, and they they was playing full court. Sometimes they play half court. But, like, they get out there and they play. Like, they, the older guys was playing more than the younger guys. Wow. So it's it just not the same, man. And even though, you know, the parks out here, they ain't in the parks like that out here in Jersey. Basketball is better in New Jersey than New York right now. Mm. Yeah, Mergen Cena is coaching out there as well. His son is was one of the top players out there. I think he had Villanova right now. No, he, he no, no, he went to Seton Hall. Seton Hall, yes, yes. Sorry about that. He went Sorry to Seton that. Hall. He was there, I think, for a year or two. No, no, no. I'm talking about his son. I'm talking about his son. Yeah, Mergen Cena's son, right? Jared Cena. Oh, he's at Seton Hall. I thought he was at Villanova. No, he left Seton Hall and went to uh, he went to uh, 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 something uh, George Washington in D.C. Okay. And he graduated. Okay. He graduated. Gotcha. He went overseas and he played like two years overseas. Like he helping so, his father right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting Murray to Hall next week. Huh? So I'm going to have Merge on uh, even next week or the week after. Yeah, that's my dude, Merge. Definitely. 
Merge like his school, his school is one of the top schools out here. And he basically, like, like for the last four years, well, not counting this year, but last year and the three years before, he had a freshman named Paulie. He played at Rutgers now, but that's all he had. The rest of his kids, like, he makes players out of these kids, you know? He makes players out of these kids. Like, for the last, I don't know, he, he could tell you better than I can, but the last probably six, seven years, he makes the playoffs every year. And wow. all his kids go to college. He, he got a little point guard that left here last year, two years ago. He went to, um, uh, that, you know, that hosp it's a hospital in Maryland, but it's also a school. It'll come to me. I know you're talking about. It's on the tip of my tongue. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, that, can't remember that school. But, yo, these kids he it's got, not, man, It's not William and Mary. It's not William and Mary. Nah, it's bigger than that. Like okay. they on TV talking about the pandemic. They doing testing and stuff like that. It's in Baltimore, Maryland. It'll come to me. So who who was the best high school, college, and pro player you played against? <laughs> that's that's gonna turn out to be the same. I'm gonna give it to uh Rod in high school, Pearl, and and Pearl and Rod, pro, pro in high school, you could switch them around, and, and Rick Smith, yeah. man. And Rick Smith, facts. He, he was a beast. The only person I saw give Rick Smith, like the business business was Biggs. Oh, word? Biggs used to give Rick Smith the business. Like, and Rick used to get his too, but Biggs used to follow him out and get him in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, Biggs used to give it to him. How, how do you stay healthy in the shape these days, man? Because you ain't rolling over the place, man. Nah, just just walking, man. Just walking. That's all you can do. I got to right. get my little bike fixed so I can ride that too. That's real. And you say you passed the torch down to your son, who's now taking the craft serious now. Yeah, he's taking it serious because I left him in Maryland, and I, I I called him every day. I said, yo, did you get some shots up today? Actually, I called him and I told him about this, that I was going to be on here. So I ain't get to ask him, but I'm going to call him back because he be up late night playing a little game. Right, but right. I'd rather... You know what I'm saying? I'd rather him be playing that game than to be out on the streets like some of these other knuckleheads with guns and stuff like that. So facts, facts. And he's um, an A student. Wow. He's an A student too. Salute, salute, salute. What's his name, Spice? Harrison Barack Kilpatrick. You gonna hear about him? Harrison Barack Kilpatrick. I hear that. And, and look, he's 15. So. His name was Barack before Barack became president. Wow. Yeah. Y'all on that. You know what my right, wife said? Wait, my wife That's said what? he gonna be known for something in his life. Uh, it's gonna be something great. She always I tells him, you great. You're gonna do great things. So That's encourage him like that. <clears throat> Hopefully That's what real. he do. That's what he will do. That's right. John Hopkins. John Hopkins. That's it. John Hopkins. A kid went there on a scholarship. Thank you a lot, Cross, man. Yeah. John wow. Hopkins. John Hopkins. And all his kids, they all go to school, yo. Whether it's Division One, Two, or Three, they go to school with scholarships. Wow. That's dope. So, and that's what you want. You want kids that play for you, they play hard, and then, you know, when it's time for them to leave, it's like, you got a place for them to go, get their education, further their education, play a little basketball. That's dope, yo. That's dope. So, um, what I want to do now is our last question of the night is who you who would you like to nominate to be on the show? Uh, ah. 
Because you, you, you hit me up all the time, so I, I know you're going to be getting me a couple of people, so I, I'm not worried about that. Let's try to get uh, let's try to get Boo Harvey. If we could get Boo Harvey, we could get wow. Doug Edwards and Doug Harris. We could get the rest of them. Yeah. You know, my guy played at Jackson. He played for Grammy. He's a Jackson guy. Jack? Oh, he did? My artist, yeah. Yeah. Did he play yeah. with... um? Did, did he play with Boo and them, or he played after them? No, he's, he's much younger. He's much younger. He's the younger guy. Oh, the okay. He said, because, he said his coach used to brag about and talk about them all the time. Yeah, he, he played oh. with Coach Grammy like right before he uh, retired and stuff. You know what? And we played against – I think we played a scrimmage against um, uh, – Springfield Gardens when they had Richie Radar Addison and Jane uh 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 what's his name? Mason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dude I'm, that's I'm actually in contact with Radar right now trying to get him up here. I got his number, so I've been hitting him up. Oh, okay. And then and, and uh the dude that's assistant coach at Kansas. Norm Roberts, he was yeah, up there. Yeah, Norm, that's my dude, Norm, man. That's my yeah. dude. Big Norm, yeah, what up, talked, baby? Yeah, he talked about y'all, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yo, Spice, uh, I want to show you some real quick. Let me see how we're going to do this. Turn this down some so it's not too loud. Let me see. Why isn't it coming on? Oh, well. Get right to the end and can't even get it right. Come on, man. <laughs> here we go right here. <laughs> he ain't even finished yet. He don't like me showing when he don't like me. Uh, dude, nice, though, yo. John said he was nice. Oh, yeah. yeah he, he nice with it. I'll show more at the end. Yo. Yeah. This is so real, right? Because I put up a question the other night, and I'm going to ask you this, right? Matter of fact, let's play a little game real quick. I'm going to name the school. You name the best player in the school history. You playing games now. Go ahead, try it. I don't want to, uh, yeah, go ahead, try it. All right. Uh, Brooklyn Tech. Brian Russell. Now Lorenzo Charles. Brian Russell. Okay. That's your answer. Brian Russell. What all Lorenzo Charles did was hit a, a, a last second shot. Brian Russell played with me with the Broncos. He was touching <clears throat> midway the backboard. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Alexander Hamilton. Uh, Ice Reynolds. Okay, okay. Boys High. Pearl. Western House. Joe Jack. <laughs> yeah, I don't even really know nobody else from there, but Joe. And Gerald. Oh, Gerald, but like Joe was there before Gerald. I got I gotta I gotta go with Joe. Okay. Now I was talk I put up a post the other night about who won the most city championships in New York City. Do you know? What school? I think it would be Tiny. Nope. Third place. Lincoln's in third. Well, who even who had him like that? See? Boys high with 14. Wow. And, and uh Clinton with 18. Where's Clinton at? In the Bronx. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Clinton. I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. Who put in the most probes? What school? I would go with Lincoln, man. Mm -hmm. Nope. We're tied for fourth. Well, who was ahead of the who's who's the, who's first? Clinton. Clinton. With yes. It goes Clinton. I'm, 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 I may have it wrong. Let me see. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do it right now because I, I don't want to get it wrong. I have all five schools. Yeah, we're tied for fourth, fam. And the reason why I say this, right? Because. Dang. Right. I don't want nobody to forget about Lincoln. You get what I'm saying? They ain't like, nobody, forget about Lincoln. I'm not. They, they forgot about Clinton. Well, they ain't really forget about them. We never knew. Yeah, they they still here. They still around. Were they in the Bronx? This is cool. The year the school didn't close. They still around. And I'm saying that to say that it's important we keep the legacy alive. You know what I'm saying? Is that important? All true, right. True. Okay, so here it is right here. I'm going to give it to you right now. Uh, number one is Clinton, right? Number two, Thomas Jefferson with 11 pros. Third. Wait, wait. Thomas Jefferson where? In Brooklyn? In Brooklyn. They got 11 NBA players. Yeah. Yeah. Third. Third, Archbishop Malloy with nine. Lincoln and LaSalle are tied with seven. Nah, that, that's not true. Yeah, in fact, I'm, I'm looking at, I did the research, man. Listen, do, okay, you tell me the pros that came out of Lincoln. Two came early on. Two white guys came early on. No, one white guy came early on. You got Steph, Bashy, Lance, Isaiah, um, Steph, Isaiah, and Bashi. That's five. That's five. And then, it, and then there's two more. You got Jamel Thomas. Right. And then there's somebody else. D-Flight. Okay. D-Flight. Um. How long did he play? It wasn't long, but he played in the NBA. No, I know, but they, I think they kind of uh, one or two years. I think the shortest was two years, and that was Jamel Thomas. Oh, okay. And this was from 2020. I mean, for 2019. I'm now, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that to say that this history is important, right? Because we should know, damn, Clint put out 18 pros. Who cares what time they did it, right? It's still a legacy. And no, I know but he's still in Brooklyn. The coach that's there, how many years he been there? He's probably relatively new. Oh, okay, okay. Probably relatively new. He's not the coach that coached Tiny Archibald and all those guys. And that's where Tiny Archibald went. Oh, that's where he went? Oh, yeah. okay. Yes. Yeah, and a lot of other great players, so I can't name off the top of my head right now. So this okay. is why Coach Haskins plugged me in with the key guy in the Bronx. He's like the, he would be like the, uh, Coach said, he would be like the Gil Reynolds of the Bronx. All right. So I'm definitely going to um get with him. But my brother, uh, it's been lovely chat with you, man. Yes, it has, man. Yo, Spice, you did two and a half hours. When, just now? No, we just did an hour and a half and we did an hour yesterday. Nah, we did an hour and like 45 yesterday. That's what right, three hours right, yeah, that's right. Davo, we didn't save it, right? So look, you were scared to, that you couldn't talk for two hours? Bro, <laughs> we, can, we can actually stay on longer. So I already know. Yo, Silk, my dog, baby.
Let's get ready, what? yo. Get ready for what? the ball, baby. Is Silk on here? I don't know, but we're going to see him tomorrow. He ain't got to be on here. We're going to see him tomorrow. <laughs> Definitely. I think he probably going to use his wife Instagram. So that will be dope. Yo, Spice, my brother, I love you, man. Love Thank you, you too, for everything, man. man. Thank you, All man. All y'all dudes that I played against, I love y'all dudes too, man. It'd be nice to see y'all, man, all in one spot. Well, I'm I'll glad you said that. I'm glad you said that because Laurel Hendricks came up with a great idea because I'm still in contact with Laurel. And Laurel said, yo, D, not now, but maybe uh, sometime in the future, we do like a basketball heads cookout. Right? And yeah. we got a spot to do all over at the side bowl. Right? At what you doing, man? Bowl. Your voice, star. Uh, you ever been there? To the side bowl? No, where is that? It's it's on Kosciuszko, right here in Ben Star. You see my guy? He's wearing yeah. a game over shirt. It's my guy Eric Hicks. He's the sponsor for the show. You said yeah, game over. Game over sports, yes. That's their yeah. building, that's their gym. He's been uh, doing it for a very long time. And he was like, Glenn, that would be a great idea. We got the out courts in the back, and we got the gym. We can set up something and do something nice. And bring all the fellas down, and then we can chop it up, eat some food, break bread, Yo, and make it a yearly thing. You know what I mean? Because a, a lot of them are going. It's a kid in Coney Island that his name... I mean, he got a clothing line called Game Over. That's why when you said Game Over, I was like, what? Well, he probably going to have to holler at my man soon because my man been only Game Over and it's trademarked and patent for a long time. Oh, well, you're going to have to go. That's thing. De yeah, definitely. Uh, another thing, uh, a guy from Coney Island just wrote a book about Coney Island basketball. Do you know about that? Nah, who, what's his name? Uh... Somebody know his name. Rick, you know his name? I forgot. I'm, I'm in contact with him on IG. I want you got to be in there. But uh, let me see. I'll Go. tell you right now. Yes. It's called. What is uh, let me see. The, the got my boy in the chat, here you go. Right here, I'm going to show you. Hello. You see that? Yeah. That's it right there. The history of Coney Island basketball. What? Yeah, from nineteen from nineteen from nineteen eighties. Yeah. To the nineties. It was done by uh, Prince Delbert. Oh, no, I don't know who that is. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to chop it up with him, see, you know, if he got his, his history right, the right people names in the books. Because we want to get the history right. All right, so Spice, let me get out of here. Go eat some dinner and relax. All right, homie? Yeah, man, yeah, man. No doubt. I'm gonna see right, you, man. Right. I'm, I'm gonna leave it with your uh your picture. I know my artist gonna get mad at me. Mm -hmm. We gotta do what we gotta yeah, do. Man.
Yeah, stay safe out there, man. No doubt, always. All right, guys.